morning, folks. Good morning. I'm here. What's the name of the lake? Are we even going to say it? Let's not say it. Yeah. <laughs> it's an electric only lake. And uh, in somewhere in Ohio. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> we were delayed. Um, Chuck, James, and I were delayed in getting out on Erie and testing the, uh, the travel motor as a, as a kicker motor. And uh, so we, we got a day of fishing the electric only lake. So we're using the, the we have the uh, Sea Eagle fish skiff. This is the inflatable. Well, and uh, I got a, this is, it's a 9.9 cruise 4.0. And we got plenty of range. So right now with the two of us, we're going 8.9 miles per hour. So pretty decent speed for this rig. So what are we going to catch, you think? Uh, hoping to get into some smallies and uh, maybe maybe find some pike. Okay. Might be a walleye or two tossed in there too. Uh, nice. Definitely some, uh, some yellow perch in here. Okay. Um, rock bass, there's tons of rock bass. Cool. They're fun. Oh yeah. The little guy. A little rock bass, I think. You mentioned there'd be rock bass. Nice. Oh, that's a rock bass. <laughs> we get them in our, our Maryland reservoirs as well. I think my biggest was, uh, I got a 13-incher once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to be joined a little bit later today by Sean Boggs, who's one of the... Uh, one of the sponsored kayak anglers on Team Torquedo. And uh, you're throwing one of his uh, tube jigs that, that he designed. Yeah, this is a special Boggs Gold. We'll get him talking about that a little bit later. All right, we zoomed back to the launch for two reasons. One, I forgot my depth finder. Got to put that on there. And uh, Sean has joined us. So Sean's going to show us his tube, which... Uh, and how you rig it. It's from uh, Mike's RX Baits. RX Baits. Baits. There it is. Bog's Gold. And you're rigging it. Looks like you got a an, an aspirin, aspirin head. head. Yep, an aspirin head with a uh, three out uh, BMC hook. Okay. Um, what I do when I pull them out of the package, first thing I do is I put them between my hands and I rub them together. And it turns the tails a different color than the body, and it really seems to help. It improves the the bite and the action. It loosens up the plastic a little bit, and then it's just a matter of inserting the tube head inside. It creates that bubble head that everybody likes, you know, to match the the goby profile, and it's very snagless. Nice. Happy so, fishing. Right on. We'll use it. Show us your rig though. Before you launch. 2019 Hobie PA14. I got it rigged with the 403 Ultralight. And the Garmin 93 SV UHD. It looks like you've you've been doing some map building. Yeah, I built this entire uh, the entire quarry. Uh, the map using my 403 it's a lot of work just to pedal but right with the 403 it makes it uh so you just drew a grid perfect. on it yeah you it just went back and forth and back and forth actually puts all the contours down to one foot contours it uses both uh side imagery and down imagery to create it it works very well that's something I find in, in a lot of electric only lakes that I get to the smaller ones that like there's there's no chart so right do, you know having that ability to build your own map right. for a small body of water is, is pretty critical right so. now now here's the other thing that's really good with with Garmin is that you can upload that right and then uh, it's all saved on a little memory card yep and I could probably do 10 or 15 lakes on one card right 
because it is a 32 gigabyte card. Nice. And um, it enables me to go ahead and put them on my computer for, you know, research, be able to find everything you need. Perfect. All right, let's get it in the water. All right, happy fishing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Nice little smallie. On the Ned rig? On the Ned rig. Nice. This smallmouth over here was sitting under this tree watching the wall. All of a sudden it just takes off and hits underneath this ledge and it's digging at something which whatever the bait was, it jumped up, came up, found another hole, the smallmouth chased it there. Then it jumped up and it came real close to the surface up back here and the smallmouth stopped chasing it. Um, I didn't get a good enough look at the bait. It was just moving so fast. But he's still but sitting was, there right there staring it, at the wall. Right. And it was dark. It was like black, like crayfish color. Huh. So maybe it is crayfish under there. Well, there he is. Ah, oh, it's a nice smallie. Ooh. Oh, he's got a big, look at the big one with him. See oh, it? Oh, wow. Look at the big one with him. Oh, come on, Drop come on, come on, come on. Drop your feet. Is he still there, Jeff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw, throw here. Throw in right here. He's trying to steal it. He's trying to steal it. There's, there's a third there's one. another one. <laughs> That's the little one. Looks like Sean got a good one. What'd you get, man? Very cool. Nice. That one. Beautiful smallmouth. Nice. Come here, Largy. Oh, I'm gonna swing you in. 